More legal trouble could soon be on the way for former President Donald Trump. ABC's Rena Roy is outside the Fulton County Courthouse in Georgia with the latest. Heightened security outside of the Fulton County Courthouse in downtown Atlanta with extra officers and police cruisers on hand as we await potential charges against former President Donald Trump. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has been investigating Trump's alleged attempts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. Sources telling ABC she's now presenting her case to a grand jury and an indictment could come down as early as today against him and a number of his allies. You're going to see numerous co-defendants, a sprawling case. It's going to be a, a tough week for the for the Trump team. The probe went on for two and a half years, a Georgia special grand jury hearing testimony from more than 75 witnesses, including Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, who Trump called after the election, allegedly pressuring Raffensperger to find the votes needed to win. So what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes. Trump made two other phone calls to state officials in late 2020 and early 2021. We counted the ballots three times. He lost this state and he continued to say he didn't lose it. And it's just creating a lot of tension and a lot of chaos. It's completely unnecessary. Trump, who is still the leading Republican candidate for 2024, has denied any wrongdoing, speaking out about the case in Iowa on Saturday. We don't take plea deals because I did nothing wrong. It's called election interference. While some Republican voters are standing by him as his legal troubles mount. I'm still backing him 100 percent until something tells me otherwise. Others are not convinced. How can he and really serve us, the American people, if he's dealing with all this kind of stuff on the side? Trump has been continually blasting Willis, even trying to get her disqualified. But a judge denied that motion. Rena Roy, ABC News, Atlanta. Despite the legal troubles he is facing, Trump is still leading the polls among Republican presidential hopefuls.